We're going to use the knowledge that we gained last week about color mixing to make a fun and crazy mug painting today. So I'm going to start by making a line where my table is going to be, and then I'm making a really long, flat oval on that table. That's the saucer that my cup's sitting on. Now I'm making a big U on top of that saucer, and then another flattened out oval on top of that U shape. Now for the handle, it's just a nice big C, and then a smaller C inside. And I'm adding a couple smoke lines coming out of my hot chocolate or coffee mug I just drew. And then behind my mug, I'm just making a big square for a window. Now we're going to use our color mixing that we just learned last week, and we're going to make a cool background, all the cool colors, so that's purples, blues, greens, and create kind of a wintry snow scene outside of our window. That's going to contrast nicely with the mug that we're going to paint in the warm colors. So I'm going to use a nice warm color for my mug. As we talked about last week, those are orange, yellow, and red. So I mixed up a dark orange color and I'm filling in my mug very carefully and slowly. And my handle, of course. Now I want you to fill in all of the different parts of the mug and the inside of your scene with warm colors. So I used orange for my mug, so I'm going to mix a different color for my saucer and a different color for my table and a different color for my wall. So for the table I made a pink by mixing red and white and I'm carefully filling in my whole tablecloth. Now I want you to start with a solid color on the table, the wall, the mug, and the saucer. Any solid warm color. And then once that dries we're going to go back with a detail brush and add patterns to all of those to make it a little fun and funkier. Alright, done with my pink and I'm washing my brush off well between colors, rinsing it in the water and then wiping it on the paper towel to make sure all of my last color is removed before I dip into a new color. I'm going to add a light yellow under the saucer. stands out really nicely. And I'm going to make an orangish yellow for my wall, kind of a golden yellow. And I did that by mixing the light yellow, the white and yellow that I just used, with a little bit of that orange that I made for the mug. It's really fun to experiment with color mixing. And just like last week, we just started with the primary colors today, red, yellow, and blue. And then we're mixing all of the colors that we want to use ourselves. So I'm almost done filling in my background. I just have one white space left, and that is where the coffee or hot chocolate should be, and that oval on top of my mug. So I'm mixing up a brown for that, and the way you mix brown is you combine all of the primary colors. So you use red, yellow, and a little bit of blue, and you can use white if you'd like to make it lighter, and that will make brown. So I've filled in my, my liquid, my hot chocolate, and I'm going to go back over those steam lines with some white. And I switched to my detail brush, you might notice, because I want a nice small brush so I can get an accurate line. I'm adding a couple snowflakes outside my window with the white as well. You could even go further and add a snowman or someone sledding in the background. And I'm going to use that brown that I just made to outline my window, to frame my window. But you could use a different color if you would like. Now I'm going to start thinking about what patterns I want to put on my mug and my tablecloth. And for the uh, details, the patterns, you don't have to stay with the warm colors anymore. You can use some cool colors on top for contrast. So I'm going to mix up a uh, purple with red, blue, and I'm going to use a little white too to make it a lighter purple. And I'm adding some stripes to my mug to make it a little more interesting. You could even write a word. You could write your name on your mug if you want to, or you could do hearts or stars. 
anything you like. Make that mug personalized. And remember to wash off your brush really well between colors. And I'm switching to a blue, add a little detail to my saucer, and some purple polka dots to add some detail to my tablecloth. All right, have fun.